Hey guys, um, I'm coming on because I'm feeling the Lord um, push me. <laughs> and I had started making a video about the salt, being the salt of the, the earth, the salt and light, and how the salt can lose its flavor or his savor. And that word savor in the Greek also means foolish, to be foolish, which also links up to our verse about the wise virgins. But the Lord said, wait, wait. So the Lord was pushing me. It's time to share why you are where you are with the commandments of God and following the Sabbath. And, um, I, you know, I shared the facts behind the, what the word of God says and, um, and what Jesus said. And, you know, as I'm reading through Matthew 5, 17 and 18, and, uh, it just is, it's just solidified here. It is just confirmed. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. That word fulfill means to um, help it to be complete. It doesn't mean it's finished. It doesn't mean it's finished. Verse 18, for verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. When I did my video about following God, not man's commands, and the importance of the Sabbath and what happened. I shared this verse, and I shared the different versions of this verse, and the different versions of this verse align that Jesus is clearly saying, I did not come to take away the law, to get rid of it. And in verse 18, it clearly says, it will not pass until the earth and heavens pass away. Look around, <laughs> Earth is still here, even though it's groaning. It's still here. Verse 19 says, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, okay, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. I want to be great in the kingdom of heaven. And I want my brothers and sisters in Christ to be great. I don't want them to be least. And, you know, that shows God's mercy. When we break the commandments of God and the commandments that Jesus goes on to expound upon, he's faithful to forgive us when we repent. But the reason why this is so strong in my heart and in my spirit is because the Lord has given me many supernatural confirmations. Mark 16, 20 tells us that when the disciples went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word with signs, signs and confirmations. And the Lord has done that for me with the Sabbath. I'm going to share with you um, a confirmation that I share with a friend of mine that had an amazing dream confirmation that I had prayed for. I was talking to my sister in Christ about, you know, is this what the Lord really wants? And, and talking about what Jesus said and, and how the good Samaritan and how those that would pass him on the road and how even on the Sabbath day, I bet Jesus would stop on the side of the road to help someone. Well, saying that to my sister in Christ brought to memory her dream that she had had the night before. My sister in Christ's dream had two friends of hers. In real life, they were friends with her, but they don't know each other in real life. And one friend needed help, and the other friend came to the rescue. The other friend came to the rescue and picked up the other woman and gave her a ride to meet Christina. And um, so these two women were riding in a car together and met up with my friend Chris or Christina. As I was talking to my sister in Christ about her dream, she came to an amazing realization. This woman that came to the rescue was a woman that she realized at that moment 
whenever she asks her to do anything on the Sabbath or Saturday, she declines. She declines every time. And my friend, Christina, said, Mel, oh my goodness, this woman in the dream that came to the rescue, she never does anything on Saturday with me, never makes plans, can never go anywhere, go out to eat, whatever. And I said, Christina, I just prayed for a confirmation. Do you think that the Lord put her in your dream because she recognizes the Sabbath and the commandments of God in that seventh day? I said, you better get off the phone with me and go call her right now because she knows her. She's a friend. It wasn't about until a half hour later that I got a return phone call. And sure enough, this woman, a friend, recognizes the seventh day, the Sabbath, the rest. She remembers the Sabbath. This woman had come to the realization through the word and through some teaching of the word that she needed to remember the Sabbath. But she had not shared that information with my friend, Christina. Isn't God so good? I prayed and asked for more confirmations from the Lord that this was a path he wanted me to take. As if that wasn't enough confirmation. I was, at the time, speaking to, who is now a good friend, um, a woman in South Africa that I was connected to that might need help with her farm. And um, we were getting to know each other. And um, I was scheduled to call and have a, a chat with her. And she's eight hours ahead, so we had to schedule that. And I prayed before I called and said, Lord, just one more confirmation. One more confirmation. I didn't know much about this woman, and um, but I did know that she loved the Lord greatly. And she had a great fear of the Lord. And I got that from some voice messages and some texts back and forth with her. And I just said, Lord, one more confirmation. One more. So I get on the phone with her. And um, we talk for about an hour. And we catch up and get to know each other well. And it's a wonderful conversation, you know, um, just that you can know the love of a brother and sister in Christ. When you're speaking, you can just feel that spirit. And I felt that spirit, but I had to, I had to start to get things gathered for my kids. And so I had to tell her, you know, I got to get off. And but I, this was great talking. She said, wait, before I get off the phone with you, I need to ask you a question. And I started to feel the Holy Spirit. I said, okay, what's your question? She said, what do you think about recognizing the Sabbath on the seventh day and resting in the Lord? And I couldn't answer her. I was so filled with the Holy Spirit and joy. And I just clapped and praised the Lord because he was so good and faithful to deliver in a mighty way. And that fourth commandment to remember the Sabbath. I follow that with joy. It's an honor. It's an honor. And it's even more joyful because the Lord has given me so many confirmations. And this word from the Lord here in Matthew 5, 17, that says, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but fulfill and to make full. And he makes full by giving us, by expounding upon those commandments. And later on, Jesus shows that the Sabbath is holy by also helping others, by healing others, by feeding those that are hungry and not being legalistic about it. Now, I also want to make sure that I'm not misunderstood in saying that you can't go to church on Sunday. That's not at all what I am saying here. We need more oil for our lamps to burn bright and to stay burning bright. And the Lord commanded us to remember the Sabbath and rest on it, to replenish ourselves and have an extra vessel full of oil. You know, the foolish virgins, 
they had their lamp with oil. The wise had their lamp with oil and a vessel of oil. Extra. There's that extra oil. And so the Lord has given so many supernatural confirmations and brought so many of my other sisters in Christ that I'm fellowshipping with now into this truth that Satan wants us to not follow. Satan wants Satan wants people to believe that Jesus' finished work on the cross means that the commandments no longer matter. That's what Satan wants. But that's a lie from the pit of hell. And again, I'm not canceling Sunday. So, by all means, worship. Go to church on Sunday. But rest on the seventh day. The day that our God, the creator of the universe, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, rested. Love you guys. Praying for you. And um, I, I, I'm so grateful for all your encouragement and all your prayers. You guys are so special to me. And I just want to say thank you. God bless you.